as as someone who has kind of stepped into um, a leadership lifestyle, uh, I I can remember that the individuals that I considered leaders were those that I was comfortable speaking to, those that I was comfortable approaching. Um, I think approachability is certainly a non-negotiable when it comes to great leadership. I think that it's also important to realize that leadership comes in many different shapes and sizes. And just because you're not the captain doesn't mean you can't lead. Everybody leads in their own way. Um, but realizing it is much more important than deeming a leader. And I think also one thing that I truly appreciated about great leadership is a leader that, that knows when they don't know and they try to achieve a solution um, through resources that can point them in the right direction. I think that um, that's also very important, understanding leaders that know when they're not the end <laughs> of the question and then we have to dig a little deeper and ask for help. And as a leader, I think it's important to activate other people's leadership. You know, I, I, don't, I don't believe a leader is in charge of making all the decisions. I think understanding people's strengths and letting people work in that space is important because any one person isn't going to know how to do 10 jobs. The job of a leader is to create a team that can work seamlessly. And that means that different people are great at different things. And that comes with empowering people and providing space for those individuals to um, to basically express those things that they're good at, you know, and to pay attention um, to what it seems people gravitate towards in their own leadership way.